If you're not familiar with Slack, it is a collaboration tool that takes a lot of inspiration from things that you might be familiar with from maybe your childhood, ICQ, MSN, any type of chat experience that you would have experienced back in the day, Give that a little bit more of a polished business sense and that's what Slack is. It gives you the ability to share code, it gives you the ability to share files, there's bots that you can use to kind of communicate with your team. It's a handful of different things combined into this interface where you can communicate and collaborate with your team. It's a great service. It's something that we use at Foundation Marketing and it's something that thousands of companies all over the world and organizations use on a daily basis basis. Slack is also very well known for their amazing and borderline ridiculous growth that they had early on. They were one of the fastest growing companies that the tech industry, especially in B2B, has ever seen. They consumerized something within B2B and turned it into a platform where people could collaborate in their business and in their work. It took off, it blew up, and now they are a publicly traded company worth billions of dollars, and for good reason. It is an amazing service, and if you're not familiar with it, I definitely recommend that you check it out. But this video isn't about Slack as a business and how you can use it internally to communicate with your colleagues and peers. This video is about how you can use Slack in a few unorthodox ways but drive meaningful results for your business. There are four key ways that you can use Slack that a lot of people overlook and that a lot of people don't quite understand. The first way that you can use Slack to drive results for your business is from a marketing lens. What do I mean by that? Did you know that today, right now, across the world, there are hundreds, hundreds, maybe thousands of communities running on Slack that are specifically dedicated to niche interests. There are people on Slack talking about things like football. There are people on Slack who are talking about things like soccer, um, sales, e-commerce, email marketing, video content. Some people on Slack are even talking about comic books. That is how broad it gets when you get into the community element of Slack. There are tons of communities all over the world where people are gathering to have discussions the same way that companies do about their products and their solutions, their services, but about their specific interests. These communities aren't accessible to the public. You have to be a member of them to join. And what that means to you as a marketer is if you can research and identify communities where your audience is spending time, you can join these Slack communities, add value to them when you're publishing new content, add value to them when they're asking questions, and you can become a part of that community even closer and drive those people who are clearly passionate about a specific topic to your site, to your product, to your service, and to your solution, and drive traffic from people who you know you wanna reach. The second untapped opportunity for businesses when it comes to Slack is to create a community that is dedicated to your existing customers. Or maybe it's a community that is dedicated to your top customers, the people who you are most connected to, the people who provide you with the most value, that pay the most, that are on the highest tier of pricing. Or maybe it's the people who open your newsletter the most. You create a Slack community where they can spend time connecting with you as a brand one-to-one -one, and that's going to do something special. It's going to build a closer connection and that connection is going to increase the likelihood of you retaining them as a client long term because they feel like they are closer to you. They feel like you are one with them as a business owner, as an um, entrepreneur, as a marketer, as a strategist, whatever it is their job is, they will feel closer to you because when they open up Slack in their company, in their organization, they will have the ability to, with a click of a mouse, actually go off and consume the content that your company is providing them in that Slack community as a whole. The third opportunity is a remix and a blend of both of those first two. Why not create an open community via Slack for your own audience, for the people you're trying to reach, where let's say you're trying to target marketers, you start to develop a marketing community. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of competition in this space already. There are tons of Slack communities dedicated to marketers and I'm in a few of them, but hear me out. If you have a niche audience and you can attract all of the people who are in that space to join a Slack community where you can consistently add value, where maybe you hire a community manager who is spending less time on Twitter 
trying to reach the masses and more time in this Slack community, going one-to-one, -one, building relationships with people, going into this community and hosting an Ask Me Anything campaign where you're inviting external experts and they can get exclusive access to this content solely from this community. If you can do that, for your industry and your space, that will differentiate you from your competition. Sure, a lot of times right now that I see companies doing this with internal platforms and internal portals that they've developed for their clients. Sometimes they're even just hosting internal events. Imagine though, that you are able to do that for a relatively low cost because you don't have to build your own platform. You can use Slack to have that same experience. You don't have to fly teams out to have that one-to-one -one connection. You can have that experience directly in a Slack community. Consider building a Slack community that is dedicated and tailored to the audience that you're trying to reach, invite them to join, facilitate that conversation, facilitate that community, and add value to them on a regular basis, and it will help you differentiate yourself from everyone else in the market. And the fourth way of leveraging Slack in a more unorthodox way is to join these communities with intent. What I mean by that is do a little bit of research around who's in the various communities, who's actually taking part in the communities, who's the host of these communities, how many people are in these communities. And then once you join, don't be afraid to slide in the DM of some of the people who are influential, who you could do business with, people who you would like to partner with, people who you've been trying to connect with, but haven't been able to via email. You see, Slack is still something that is relatively new. And when people get a message via Slack, they're very likely to open that message and see what it's all about. If you can go into these communities, and I'm not saying that you spam the entire list, but if you go into these communities, and you start to identify, okay, I wanna to talk to this person, I wanna to talk to this person, I wanna to talk to that person. If you can message these individuals and build relationships, and if you can message these people and schedule calls, there is without question an opportunity to use Slack as a great way for partnerships, prospecting, lead generation, and even generating referrals to other businesses. So there you have it. Those are four unorthodox, less known, yet super valuable ways that businesses can use Slack to drive results for their business. If you are looking for more ways, if you are still thirsty to kind of figure out how else can we use Slack effectively, check out the link in the description of this video. I've put together, uh, in collaboration with the team at Foundation, an in-depth guide that talks about how you can use Slack in your business. This is something that you're definitely going to want to check out. So click the link below, check it out, and let us know what you think. As always, thank you so much for checking out this channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you were able to take some value out of this and you can apply it to your own business and how you navigate Slack in the months to come. If you want more content like this, don't forget to check out rawsimmons.com, the only place where I'm constantly delivering content that will help you generate more leads and as a result, live more life. See you next time.